Hey everyone, this is Miss Lexi. I'm just doing this lesson to talk about writing numerical expressions. I know that that's one of your assignments. Um, it's something you probably have worked a little bit on before, but I just want to do a little refresher. Um, and those for you forget, especially we can kind of do a little review of what we've done before. So when we're writing numerical expressions, we want to make sure that we're reading the problem very carefully um, and watching those keywords to figure out how we're going to write the expression based on the words that are written. So to start, let's look at number one. We want to write an e expression for that would represent the quotient of 20 and 2. So if we want to talk about the quotient of 20 and 2, I want to think about what does quotient mean? And when I know, I know that quotient is the answer to a division problem. So if I'm finding the quotient of 20 and 2, I know that I'm going to take 20 divided by 2. And for these, we don't have to solve them. You may be asked to solve them. But right now we're just worried about what does this do these words actually represent as an expression? So for number two, it says two times the difference of five and three. So they have this word times and the word difference. Well, I know that times means multiplication and difference is the answer to a subtraction problem. So I know that two times the difference of five and three. So first I know that I'm gonna do two times something. And my something is going to be the difference of five and three. And if I'm finding the difference of five and three, it's gonna be five minus three. And I'm gonna put these in parentheses because I know that I'm taking two times the difference or the answer of that. And that just kind of puts little spotlight on saying do this step first and normally if we're thinking of our PEMDAS we would do multiplication first but in this case we're doing two times the difference and we know that we need to do the difference first so that's why I put those parentheses around it so now let's look at another example it says seven times four, then add 10. So I know that this is a two-step problem again. So it's seven times four, then add 10. I'm gonna write PEMDAS over here again. And for those of you that don't remember, P is parentheses, E is exponents, the M and the S are multiplication and division left to right, and the A and the S are addition and subtraction left to right. So when we're thinking about this problem, we have seven times four, then we have to add 10. And when we look at our order of operations, multiplication comes before addition. So it's okay, we won't necessarily need to put in parentheses in this case. You can add them, it doesn't hurt. Um, so I will show you both ways. So if we just do seven times four, then we're gonna add 10. And if we do that, we're gonna have the, problem in the correct order. We could do 7 times 4 in parentheses and then add 10, which is fine as well. That's just kind of giving you an extra emphasis on doing 7 times 4 first. All right, for number 4, it says divide 20 by 4, then add 5. So again, we have a two-step problem, and we have a division first, and then we have addition. And with order of operations, division always comes first. So again, we can write this a couple different ways. So if we divide 20 by 4, that means 20 divided by 4. So we can write it as 20 divided by 4. And then add 4, 5, so we can put a plus 5. We could have put the 20 divided by 4 in parentheses to really show do this first then have an add five or plus five after that, all right? And you might also see this problem a third way. You might have it as 20 
divided by 4 plus 5. Especially in middle school, you're going to see it like this. Because we always want to remember that if we have a fraction, that's actually telling us that we're doing division. Every fraction is a division problem. So we can write our division problem as a fraction. All right? So we can have it this in any of these three ways. And it says that we divide 20 by 4, then add 5. And we're going to do the same thing in all three of these cases. All right? Let's look at a couple more. Now for number 5. It says the product of 8 and 5 divided by 4. So I have the product of 8 and 5 divided by 4. So I have this word product and I have the word divided. I know that product means the answer to a multiplication problem and divided means we're dividing. So the product of 8 and 5, so we need to find that product, is going to be divided by 4. So if I do my 8 times 5, is my product of 8 and 5, put it in parentheses to say this first. Then I'm going to say that divided by 4. But if we think about our order of operations, it means that we do, it says that we do multiplication and division left to right. So it doesn't matter if I have the parentheses or not. I could have just had 8 times 5 divided by 4. And we would still have the same problem because we know for my order of operations that 8 times 5 would be done first because multiplication and division are done left to right. Now for the last one, for number 6, it says subtract 12 from 23, then multiply by 4. Well, this word then tells me again I have two parts, a two-step problem. It says subtract 12 from 23. That means I'm taking 12 away from 23. That means I'm subtracting 12. So I'm going to start with my 23, and I'm going to take away or subtract that 12. It says then multiply by 4. Well, if I say multiply by 4, and I look at this problem, and according to PEMDAS, or my orders of operation, it's saying that I should do my multiplication before my subtraction. But in this problem, that's not what we're supposed to do. So in this problem, we have to put parentheses around our subtraction. And it's a good way, it's a good reason to go back and double check what you've put compared to what the statement says. Because um, it does say 23 minus 12 and then multiply by 4. But if we're not looking at that carefully with that then, we want to make sure that we're doing the multiply by 4 by what we're getting when we subtract. So we have to do that subtraction first. And putting those parentheses around it makes it happen first. Because our parentheses is always our first step. Alright. So I hope this helps you when we're looking at statements and trying to write expressions. That we want to look at for those keywords. Read them carefully. Think about what are they actually saying. And then come up with our pro with our expression. Once you have your expression, go back and check it to make sure that you don't need to add any parentheses or anything if we're looking at the order of operations. All right. Hope this helps you guys.